If you're a CTT student and you've been enrolled in the Web Foundations, Web Design Professional, or the SEO and Social Media programs, and you've been given a code for the, your CBTs or computer-based training, the web, this is the website that you'll come to. It is ciw.ucertify, like right there, ucertify.com. And if this is your first time here, if you haven't already created an account, you'll need to create a login uh, by log signing up. So you just click that button. And if you don't have already have an account, you can create a sign up here. And you'll fill in this information, create a password. Uh, since I've already got an account, and if, you're, if you've already been through a program, then you can just go ahead and sign in. I'm going to go ahead and sign into my account. Now my account is a little bit different because I have a an instructor account, but um, what you want to do is go to your library, and if if you don't have any, if you haven't previously registered any courses, you you won't have anything in your library. So you will need to click the enroll button. Choose I am a self-paced student and then click next and you'll fill in your your name your email address and you'll put in the code that they that you've been given for the course when you activate that code you go back to your library and the course that you're assigned or that you're registered for will now show up here in this list there's a button here on the left that allows you to choose a list view if you want to look at your courses in a list view rather than a grid view either way and then if you uh, when to go to a particular course you'll just click the blue button I believe that yours will uh, your will say uh, open lessons or start lessons mine because I, I have a an instructor you'll say view course sorry so if I want to go and go to the view course and it will take me to the dashboard and you have a navigation you've always got some navigation up here in the upper left hand corner that allows you to go to switch back to your library you can go from the dashboard and then you can go to these four sections that you see here in the dashboard and these are the four sections that you'll work through to take your to do your study process and prepare for your exam